Hello biologists, welcome to today's daily A-level revision task which is to produce a flashcard on the effects of kidney failure and some of its potential treatments. So, how does kidney failure occur? It can be from a number of factors. The main ones are diabetes, hypertension or infection. When the kidneys fail, the body is unable to remove waste substances and excess water from the blood. The waste substances include urea and excess salts, which accumulate in the body until they reach harmful levels. Dialysis is the use of a partially permeable membrane to filter the blood. The process removes waste, excess fluid and salt from the blood by passing the blood over a dialysis membrane, which is partially permeable. The membrane keeps the blood and dialysis fluid separate, but allows for the exchange of materials between them. The dialysis fluid contains salts, urea, water, and other substances present in the blood plasma. Unless the kidneys have failed due to infection, or <clears throat> they are cancerous, there is no reason to remove kidneys and so normally when a patient has a kidney transplant the damaged kidneys are left where they are. A kidney comes from a living relative or someone who has recently died with a healthy kidney that is a tissue match for the person receiving it. During surgery the new kidney is placed just underneath the lower abdomen and is connected to both the blood supply and the bladder. Patients must take immunosuppressant drugs to prevent the risk of rejection of the kidney by the body's own immune system. Hopefully, this video should have helped you complete your daily revision task. Please subscribe so you can keep up to date with other videos to help with your daily revision tasks. You can follow me on Facebook or follow me on Twitter to help you keep up to date.